occasionally you're going to come up with something that's so ludicrous, um, but at the same time is, is a terrific idea, um, and you're not going to be able to get people to come around to it immediately. The initial reaction to, I'm going to open a cloth mill and weave tweed in London, from my friends anyway, was varied to say the least. Once we got the first loom installed and set up, we did have everybody over for a loom party where we did weaving and we successfully wove about 15 foot of holy, gappy, sparse, needless to say, it was rubbish. It took us a good four months of solid perseverance before we actually managed to create our first piece of successful tweed. When we get the yarn in, it comes in on one and a half kilo cones, so then we have to break it down into both the warp and the weft. The warp is the yarn that goes uh, lengthways, and the weft is what goes from left to right in the shuttle. So we warp with a sectional warper, which was made in 1947. We wind 144 cones, uh, all with the exactly the right amount of yarn on for our completed warp, and we warp in seven sections. Um, at the same time as winding the warp, we also wind all the perns or the bobbins for the shuttles for running the weft in. Once the warp is wound, we load it onto the back of the loom and then we actually tie 1,008 individual knots and just pull it through. So once all the yarn is tied in, then we're ready to start weaving. All you have to do is then program the rotating box to change colour. So we can actually, with these particular looms, we can run up to six or seven different colours in the web and obviously any number of colours you like in the warp. So the possibilities are really endless. In my experience, what I think people should concentrate on when setting up a creative business in the fashion industry is rather than concentrating on um, PR and hype, is actually really focus on making your product beautifully crafted and exemplary in every way. Eventually, I want to open the mill as a part-time museum, not educating people about old looms, but actually reconnecting them with where cloth comes from. My name's Daniel Harris, and I'm a weaver. It all started a couple of years ago with a bit of innocent plain weave. Then I got into herringbone, and the herringbone led to tartan, and finally, I ended up in Russian twill. Now, I have a 30 metre a day habit and five industrial power looms.